Don't worry, Miss is an ally. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Another episode of Heartstopper. If you cannot tell by my giant smile, I am enjoying this season so much. Um, the third episode in the row I am watching because I'm like... I want to pace myself a little bit, but I don't know how far I should go with that. So maybe it'll be like, I'll be watching four episodes at once, and then the last half another time, or I'll like do maybe like four or five today, and then like stagger them out, but I don't know. You know, because it's hard, because with like the way Netflix does and stuff, because I want to watch everything as it goes. I want to, you know, I want to just be like, one to eight, I want to watch them all. But then again, I feel like with certain shows that get released on the weekly schedule, I do sometimes appreciate it when I get a little bit of break, I get to think about it, I get to like ruminate on it, you know. So I'm in that like two frame mind where I'm like, I want to watch everything right now, but I also am like, will taking a little bit of a break get me even like more into the groove to like think about what I've seen. It's hard. It's, it's a hard. Does anyone, let me know. Does anyone else have that dilemma? Because I feel like that's a thing that like <laughs> stresses me out. I don't know. It's the little things. It's the little dumb things that get to me. But I'm loving this season so far. Like I would, I don't think they would have to do something seriously crazy for me to not be overjoyed by it already. But as usual, well, I say as usual, this is the second season. As I would have expected, I am loving it. It's so fun. The conflict's good. Like, you, it's like, it's very emotional. Like, you really feel everything going on. I, like, I understand, like, all the different sides to different things. I, like, can see that this is, it is very well done in the way of these things do happen to the different characters. And it does make me empathize with them. And th they're just showing, like, real good, like, queer stuff that happens and they touch on it well they do it and not even just queer stuff like there's obviously a lot of other stuff that they do but they do it all so well and like with respect and it and it really shows some sides of things which I think is very good to just put out there because you know life sucks <laughs> and you know if this like if it makes anyone feel better it's good to good to have it there and if it makes anything easier for anyone it's good to have it there that's why I feel like <laughs> that's what that's what I try and do let's bring it back to me because I'm a narcissist um that's what I hope I hope someone just has fun with it I'm not in an inspiring message although I will try and throw out one every now and then I just hope someone has some fun maybe if I make someone smile that's good enough for me but I'm loving it it's so fun yeah, they're doing what I try and do. They're making me smile. So their job is done very well. Um, I hope we get more about Tau, Tau and L this episode. Because, yes, I've been loving... Like, Nick and Charlie were obviously going to be the cutest ever. But Tau and L's story is, is starting to, like, shape up this season. And I'm very excited for it. But enough of me talking and rambling my final things before we get into it. If you would like to watch the full length reactions without me chopping it all up, all there, all nice and easy, you get to see all the bits, all your favorite moments in case I cut them out. Um, I have a link to my Patreon down below. Like and subscribe and let's get into it. These people as well. Oh my God, you're all useless. Tal, you're yeah. really you could Google it. Googling helps. And I lose my best friend in the whole world. No, you can't think of it like that. You're catastrophizing. We went to Ikea like in 500 days of summer. Ikea's not like a bad idea. I think it's kind of fun though. Though, I don't like Ikea that much. <laughs> it stresses me out. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good season. Oh. Hi, Otis. I think that was your name. <gasps> It's our three. It's our it's our friend friend friends three friend group three. <gasps> we gonna reach out. In the woods. And you guys come. Guys, guys, meaning two guys. Why don't ice them out? Because of how he doesn't like music. Yeah, listen. We're sorry about what happened at the cinema. We should have spoken up. Yeah, they're not dicks. They're good guys. You're not like Harry. Yeah. It took me a while to realize what a dick he is as well. 
I seriously don't blame you for fighting him. Yeah. I know you and Charlie are really good mates. And it was kind of cool. <laughs> they just gave him the look of, uh, they are more than good mates. Oh. I thought they gave him the, they gay look. Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to say it now. And do you want to go? This. Well, they are good mates. Didn't come out to any of them. That's okay. And also, even if they... They think we're... Best Mates. <laughs> but even if you're dating, can you not be best bros? Some of the rugby guys in this. Yeah. Just when you're a little bit less stressed. We're probably going to get found out anyway. Because you keep wanting to kiss at school. Yeah, uh, you're a bit of a horn dog, Nick. Calm down. I don't know what you mean. I have never... <laughs> <laughs> it's all Nick. What about the changing room? Okay. Oh, the English room? Do you kiss me first? Or what about the... Oh my god. Fine. You... Okay, that was like good res. Um, Charlie, that was good. That was fun. Oh my god. Y'all... <laughs> don't worry, Miss is an ally. <laughs> she, she was like, I don't know what to do. I'm a little confused. Are we gonna have a chat? Oh, and she like, don't fuck with Charlie. I love that kid. Oh, yes, be protective. I love you. Down your pens. Is everyone done? Is that like the whole exam? All your exams? Thanks, miss. Well done. You're welcome. Thank God you're done. Everyone's very excited. I don't think anyone at my school was that cheery. Freedom? Yay! Your notes? Oh, do you want to? Oh no. We don't like you, but we will bring drinks. That we don't worry. We will do that. Oh, you guys are. Are you not? I like this teacher. He's like everyone. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, don't you guys stay for the Paris meeting? Uh, Paris is basically like a five day long sleepover. Okay, five days, that's fun. Annoyed with me after that? <laughs> yes, I could imagine, but it will be fun for a, at least a couple of days. Because of how annoying you are. Aww. Oh no. I mean... That wasn't, that was meant to be cute. Love you, eh? that... Oh, sorry, I glossed over it. That's not me asking you to say it back or anything. Aww. Oh no, feelings are tough. We get that. Stop! I think Rob should be vampire themed. <laughs> vampire themed actually would be pretty sick. I'll move on from this because it's stressing me out. You to get into the groups of four who will be the people you share hotel rooms with. And we've been yep. told to inform you that boys and girls cannot share rooms. That's okay. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just the perks of being gay. It isn't. <laughs> groups of four, please. Oh, Imogen just got left. That was fairly painless. Yeah, well, it was a bit painful, but oh well. Oh, Imogen doesn't have anyone. No. Where is Tao? Where is Tao? Just sign him up. He'll be fine to share a room. <laughs> what? I love this. I love this. Hi. Oh, he looks fantastic. He looks great with the haircut. Ah, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, I like you romantically. And I was wondering if you... I'll be quiet. It's nice. Yes. I'll say it for her. Like me. Like me. Yes. Yeah. Ah. I mean, You'd like wondering if you like me back? You didn't get the hints. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yes? Oh no. Yeah. Oh thank god. Oh thank god it went well. I'm so excited. Right. I thought maybe we could go to the cinema. Of course we could go to the cinema. Oh Yay! 
Oh, yeah, he does look amazing. I've seen this in the trailer. He's such a handsome dude. <laughs> the hair was weighing him down. No, Tao looks good. Oh my god. <laughs> he is so funny. I feel like this, this season's gonna be a lot better for him. It's a small cinema, but I love it. This is really a date. Yes, it is, and it's cute. Wow, I love his shirt. Tao, you dressed very well. Oh my god, he's been so forward, I love it. Well, I guess they're, like, you know, their friendship was practically dating anyway, so it won't be that crazy different. Oh, he's looking with love. Them some love eyes. You could throw an arm around her, that'd be cute. Or hold her hand. Oh no, it's smooth. I love it. Is he gonna get the sparks? Oh, it's cute. Oh god, you two are so awkward. It is. I like it. He looks like he is lost. And it's adorable. Oh no, he got scared. He back he can't back out. You gotta do it with confidence. You guys were more, more flirty as best friends than you are on a date. Okay, you don't have to pretend to be silent. It's okay to make noise. Oh, hi. Do they go to Higgs? I didn't know you invited them. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they don't. They don't go to Higgs. That's okay. Yeah. What? He's jealous. I don't understand what I did wrong tonight. Oh no, Tao. Completely different person. You're the one who's completely different. Oh god. Our new friends and have forgotten I exist completely. Oh god, this went. Put our friendship first. Oh wow. Well, I guess romance does ruin friendship. That all fell apart so quickly. Oh, I was hoping for good vibes only. Guys. Oh, that was not good. Uh, Maybe he was just nervous. Yeah. Mentally unlikable. No, that's not true. Impress you. I liked the old Tao. I try okay, but you can't tell him. And I talk too much, so I ruin everything. Tao, oh, Tao. Yeah, I fell for you a bit tonight. That was good. What's up, Nick? Yeah, you look awful. I just needed to talk to you about doing something. Ah, oh, he feels like it's like it's a burden. Sexual. So you're gonna cheat on my brother. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I hate this. Sneaking around with him. Hikazai. You promised you were gonna come out. Should look at No, you know Charlie wouldn't say that. I hate this. I hate this. He's gonna pass out. <gasps> Punch him! Wait, what's his problem? Uh, you're his problem, dickhead. <laughs> oh, I hate them. Not Imogen, you're not included in the map, but I hate the other two. You're really Ill. Yes, you look really ill. Yeah, can you take him and Tao home? Because you guys all look awful. Oh God, this is so stressful. I am gonna I'm gonna lose it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it through these episodes. Please <laughs> send send good wishes my way. I I might not make it. What happens if I don't make it? Char oh. Every every time he says char I get goosebumps. Yeah. Harry sucks. I do it too. If I was in the universe, the actor doesn't deserve to for it. Would you? I mean, I'd like to see it, but actually, no, I wouldn't, actually. I'd be scared. You're not a fighter. You don't strike me as a fighter, Charlie. I should have told her, but... It's... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Baby. It's fine, Nick. You gotta realise it's okay. There's no schedule. Can we try school? Yeah. It was in the way. Yeah, also, n never could be an option. What do you mean? When we went to the beach. Oh. I told you I was going to go. Yeah, 
If you promised, if you do it ever, then it's fine. Oh, if only I could reach into the screen, scream at him that it's fine, and give him a hug. To tell all your friends and family immediately. Yeah, do it at your own pace. But you don't. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, this is so hard to watch. It's. I mean, that's why this media has to exist and is so good to exist because this is what young queer people need to have and exist. I think it's so important and so prominent. And so good to have, because there's so many stresses, especially when a lot of like a lot of different people may not know how they want to do things or how things go or what is expected or might get stressed, or you see like perfect people on TV. Like, you know, there's a lot of different things around it. So I think it's very important for media like this to exist, and I'm very happy with the way they've done it. Charlie's been a good voice of reason. When and how you want to. Amen. And if that takes a long time, that's completely okay. Yeah. Take fucking years. But. Ah, uh, yeah. It can be hard on you. Part of me just wants everyone to know you're my boyfriend. Yeah, because you're so great. Uh, but that puts pressure on him, but he. It is hard for him as well. Oh, don't worry, he's asleep. I don't know how he would be asleep, but sure. Oh, This is so sweet. This is very important. This is good. I didn't even realize we're near the end of the episode. I really misjudge. I mis misjudge how long we had left. I, I put my whole, I put my whole speech into into it and then w we were done and now I have nothing to say because I feel like I just went on the L okay well where do I start my head I'm we're just gonna reorganize the brain we're gonna restructure we're gonna recenter and I'm back okay <laughs> you know when you just get too many thoughts flow through your mind okay I have said what I have said about that scene but I will say it again it is very important to have that is good to have that is beautiful to have and I'm happy they did it the way they did it. Obviously, Charlie is correct that he wants to tell everyone. And that's because he's had the secret before. And that's something that he wants. But it is great that they are enforcing the thing of there is no timeline. There is no rules. There is no promises. I mean, obviously. But, like, you can do it whenever, however you want. You can just not tell people at all if you want. Like... I know you want to tell those friends, and that is important, but sometimes people find out isn't the worst way. You know what I mean? Obviously, then they have to confront you about things, but if they're not close to you, they don't really need to confront you, and if they do, they don't have your need, like, the opinion, that opinion doesn't matter. Obviously, it's hard when it's a negative opinion, but, you know, there's, there's so many things with having to stay strong with, you know, people who are shit have bad opinions but coming out is is such a complicated thing and it's nice to see what they've done with that that's my end of that tau and l on the other hand that is stressing me out tau, they've just they're both very like strong people and they have strong emotions and i feel like they're not talking about the core things you know this is why this is why i'm advocating talking to your friends, best friends, partners, you know, just laying it out there. Tao goes, I don't know, man, like, I've loved you so much, and, and I just, I'm trying to do what you want, because I want you to like me, and this is new for me, and I'm scared, and I'm excited, and I just want to be cool. Then she's like, dude, I get it, bro. <laughs> I d <laughs> Look at me doing well. Um, and she's just like, well, I get that, but I, I like it, and I appreciate, I wish she was just like, I appreciate the effort you went for, but being you is no problem. You know what I mean? Like, it's beautiful that they're both trying, and, she, you know, he's trying too hard, and she likes the core him. That's nice, but the way they're not communicating it is stressing me out. But I think it'll get better, and I assume they will have good talks about it, hopefully soon. But, for now... 
we are done. We are done with episode three. A fantastic episode again. I'm loving it. Um, but yes, I, I hope you've enjoyed it and having a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>